Blasphemy, Wikipedia article audio. Blasphemy is the act of insulting or showing contempt or lack of reverence to a deity, to religious or holy persons or sacred things, or toward something considered sacred or inviolable. Some religions consider blasphemy to be a religious crime. As of 2012, anti-blasphemy laws existed in 32 countries while 87 nations had hate speech laws that covered defamation of religion and public expression of hate against a religious group. Anti-blasphemy laws are particularly common in Muslim-majority nations, such as those in the Middle East and North Africa, although they are also present in some Asian and European countries. Etymology Blasphemy Laws the word blasphemy came via Middle English blasphemon and Old French blasphemer and Late Latin blasphemere from Greek beta lambda alpha sigma phi eta mu omega, from beta lambda pi tau omega injure and phi mu eta utterance, talk, speech. From blasphemere also came Old French blasmer, from which English blame came. Blasphemy, from Greek blasphemia a speaking ill, impious speech, slander, from blasphemain to speak evil of. In the sense of speaking evil of God this word is found in PS 74 colon 18, ISA 52 colon 5, ROM 2 colon 24, Revelation 13 colon 1, 6, 16 colon 9, 11, 21. It denotes also any kind of calumny, or evil speaking, or abuse. In some countries with a state religion, blasphemy is outlawed under the criminal code. Such laws have led to the persecution, lynchings, murder or arrest of minorities and dissident members, after flimsy accusations. As of 2012, 33 countries had some form of anti-blasphemy laws in their legal code. Of these, 21 were Muslim-majority nations Afghanistan, Algeria, Bahrain, Egypt, Indonesia, Iran, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Malaysia, the Maldives, Morocco, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Sudan, Turkey, the UAE, and the Western Sahara. The other 12 nations with anti-blasphemy laws in 2012 were Denmark, Finland, Germany, Greece, India, Ireland, Italy, Malta, the Netherlands, Nigeria, Poland, and Singapore. Blasphemy was treated as a capital crime in some Muslim nations. Other countries have removed the ban of blasphemy. France did so in 1881 to allow freedom of religion and freedom of the press and blasphemy was abolished or repealed in Sweden in 1970, England and Wales in 2008, Norway with X in 2009 and 2015, the Netherlands in 2014, Iceland in 2015. Malta in 2016 and Denmark in 2017. Where blasphemy is banned, it can be either some laws which directly punish religious blasphemy, or some laws that allow those who are offended by blasphemy to punish blasphemers. Those laws may condone penalties or retaliation for blasphemy under the labels of blasphemous libel, expression of opposition, or vilification, of religion or of some religious practices, religious insult, or hate speech. Christianity Christian theology condemns blasphemy. It is spoken of in Mark 3.29, where blaspheming the Holy Spirit is spoken of as unforgivable and eternal sin. However, there is dispute over what form this blasphemy may take and whether it qualifies as blasphemy in the conventional sense, and over the meaning of unforgivable. In 2 Kings 18, the Rab Sheikhe gave the word from the king of Assyria, dissuading trust in the Lord, 
asserting that God is no more able to deliver than all the gods of the land. In Matthew 9,23, Jesus told a paralytic your sins are forgiven and was accused of blasphemy. Catholic Prayers and Reparations for Blasphemy Blasphemy has been condemned as a serious, or even the most serious, sin by the major creeds and church theologians were generally considered to be the gravest sins, with heresy a greater sin than blasphemy, cf. Thomas Aquinas Summa Theologia. In the Catholic Church, there are specific prayers and devotions as acts of reparation for blasphemy. For instance, the Golden Arrow Holy Face devotion first introduced by Sister Marie of St. Peter in 1844 is recited in a spirit of reparation for blasphemy. This devotion was approved by Pope Leo XIII in 1885. The Rakolta book includes a number of such prayers. The five First Saturdays devotions are done with the intention in the heart of making reparation to the Blessed Mother for blasphemies against her, her name and her holy initiatives. The Holy See has specific pontifical organizations for the purpose of the reparation of blasphemy through acts of reparation to Jesus Christ, e.g. the Pontifical Congregation of the Benedictine Sisters of the Reparation of the Holy Face. Punishment The most common punishment for blasphemers was capital punishment through hanging or stoning, justified by the words of Leviticus 24 13 16. Disputation of Paris Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Bring out of the camp the one who cursed, and let all who heard him lay their hands on his head and let all the congregation stone him. And speak to the people of Israel, saying, Whoever curses his God shall bear his sin. Whoever blasphemes the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him. The sojourner as well as the native, when he blasphemes the name, shall be put to death. Islam the last person hanged for blasphemy in Great Britain was Thomas Aikenhead aged 20, in Scotland in 1697. He was prosecuted for denying the veracity of the Old Testament and the legitimacy of Christ's miracles. Blasphemy remained a criminal offence in England and Wales until the passing of the Criminal Justice and Immigration Act 2008 but was last successfully prosecuted in the case of White House v. Lemon, where the defendant was fined £500 and given a nine-month suspended prison sentence. Judaism During the Middle Ages a series of debates on Judaism were staged by the Roman Catholic including the Disputation of Paris, the Disputation of Barcelona, and Disputation of Tortosa and during those disputations, Jewish converts to Christianity, such as Nicholas Donan and Pablo Cristiani claimed the Talmud contained insulting references to Jesus. The Disputation of Paris, also known as the Trial of the Talmud, took place in 1240 at the court of the reigning king of France, Louis IX. It followed the work of Nicholas Donan, a Jewish convert to Christianity, who translated the Talmud and pressed 35 charges against it to Pope Gregory IX by quoting a series of alleged blasphemous passages about Jesus, Mary, or Christianity. Four rabbis defended the Talmud against Donan's accusations. A commission of Christian theologians condemned the Talmud to be burned and on June 17, 1244, 24 carriage loads of Jewish religious manuscripts were set on fire in the streets of Paris. The translation of the Talmud from Hebrew to non-Jewish languages stripped Jewish discourse from its covering, something that was resented by Jews as a profound violation. 
between 1239 and 1775 the Roman Catholic Church at various times either forced the censoring of parts of the Talmud that were theologically problematic or the destruction of copies of the Talmud. Blasphemy in Islam is impious utterance or action concerning God, Muhammad, or anything considered sacred in Islam. The Quran admonishes blasphemy, but does not specify any worldly punishment for blasphemy. The Hadiths, which are another source of Sharia, suggest various punishments for blasphemy, which may include death. However, it has been argued that the death penalty applies only to cases where there is treason involved that may seriously harm the Muslim community, especially during times of war. Different traditional schools of jurisprudence prescribe different punishment for blasphemy, depending on whether the blasphemer is Muslim or non-Muslim, a man or a woman. In the modern Muslim world, the laws pertaining to blasphemy vary by county, and some countries prescribe punishments consisting of fines, imprisonment, flogging, hanging, or beheading. Blasphemy laws were rarely enforced in pre-modern Islamic societies, but in the modern era some states and radical groups have used charges of blasphemy in an effort to burnish their religious credentials and gain popular support at the expense of liberal Muslim intellectuals and religious minorities. In recent years, Accusations of blasphemy against Islam have sparked international controversies and played part in incidents of mob violence and assassinations of prominent figures. In Leviticus 24,16 the punishment for blasphemy is death. In Jewish law the only form of blasphemy which is punishable by death is blaspheming the name of the Lord. The United Nations the seven laws of Noah, which Judaism sees as applicable to all people, prohibit blasphemy. Colloquial Usage In one of the texts of the Dead Sea Scrolls, called the Damascus Document, violence against non-Jews is prohibited, except in cases where it is sanctioned by a Jewish governing authority so that they will not blaspheme. Thomas Aquinas says that we compare murder and blasphemy as regards the objects of those sins, it is clear that blasphemy, which is a sin committed directly against God, is more grave than murder, which is a sin against one's neighbor. On the other hand, if we compare them in respect of the harm wrought by them, murder is the graver sin, for murder does more harm to one's neighbor than blasphemy does to God, the Book of Concord calls blasphemy the greatest sin that can be outwardly committed. The Baptist Confession of Faith says, therefore, to swear vainly or rashly by the glorious and awesome name of God, is sinful, and to be regarded with disgust and detestation. For by rash, false, and vain oaths, the Lord is provoked and because of them this land mourns. The Heidelberg Catechism answers question 100 about blasphemy by stating that no sin is greater or provokes God's wrath more than the blaspheming of his name. The Westminster Larger Catechism explains that the sins forbidden in the third commandment are, the abuse of it in an ignorant, vain, irreverent, profane, mentioning, by blasphemy, to profane jests, vain janglings, to charms or sinful lusts and practices, Calvin found it intolerable when a person is accused of blasphemy, to lay the blame on the abolition of passion, as if God were to endure the penalty whenever we are provoked. In the early 21st century, blasphemy became an issue in the United Nations. The United Nations passed several resolutions which called upon the world to take action against the defamation of religions. 
the campaign for worldwide criminal penalties for the defamation of religions had been spearheaded by Organization of Islamic Cooperation on behalf of the United Nations Large Muslim Bloc. The campaign ended in 2011 when the proposal was withdrawn in Geneva, in the Human Rights Council because of lack of support, marking an end to the effort to establish worldwide blasphemy strictures along the lines of those in Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Iran. This resolution had passed every year since 1999, in the United Nations, with declining number of yes votes with each successive year. In July, 2011, the UN Human Rights Committee released a 52-paragraph statement, General Comment 34 on the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights 1976, concerning freedoms of opinion and expression. Paragraph 48 states. Blasphemy Day. Prohibitions of displays of lack of respect for a religion or other belief system, including blasphemy laws, are incompatible with the covenant, except in the specific circumstances envisaged in Article 20, Paragraph 2, of the covenant. Such prohibitions must also comply with the strict requirements of Article 19, Paragraph 3 as well as such articles as 2, 5, 17, 18, and 26. Thus, for instance, it would be impermissible for any such laws to discriminate in favor of or against one or certain religions or belief systems, or their adherents over another, or religious believers over non-believers. Nor would it be permissible for such prohibitions to be used to prevent or punish criticism of religious leaders or commentary on religious doctrine and tenets of faith. Blasphemy has been used to mean irreverence in a non-religious context. Sir Francis Bacon uses blasphemy in this way in Advancement of Learning, where he speaks of blasphemy against teaching. The word blasphemy may be used as a substitute for profanity or cursing as it is used in this sentence, with much hammering and blasphemy, the locomotive's replacement spring was finally fitted. In contemporary language, the notion of blasphemy is often used hyperbolically. This usage has garnered some interest among linguists recently and the word blasphemy is a common case used for illustrative purposes. International Blasphemy Day encourages individuals and groups to openly express criticism of religion and blasphemy laws. It was founded in 2009 by the Center for Inquiry. A student contacted the Center for Inquiry in Amherst, New York to present the idea, which CFI then supported. Ronald Lindsay, President and CEO of the Center for Inquiry, said, regarding Blasphemy Day, he think religious beliefs should be subject to examination and criticism just as political beliefs are, but we have a taboo on religion, in an interview with CNN. Events worldwide on the first annual Blasphemy Day in 2009 included an art exhibit in Washington, D.C., and a free speech festival in Los Angeles.